Hey YouTube, welcome back to Just a Farm Dad. I'm going to do something a little untraditional today. I'm going to cut some soffit without turning the blade backwards. Let's see what happens. I'm going to do it in the name of science. This is a handy dandy soffit jig 2000 that I built. It's model year 2023. Let's go ahead and try this, see what happens. Make sure you got gloves, eye protection, hearing protection. Let's see what happens. going to go ahead and cease and assist my operation and show you what happened. In the name of science, we did not turn the blade backwards and that is what happened. Took a big chunk right out of our piece of soffit. Now, what happens if you say, oh well, Maybe you can cut it from the other side or flip it over, turn it upside down. Let's try that. Okay. Same thing. Took a big gash right out of it. This side chewed it up into pieces. Okay. So, what I want to mention to you guys, and I haven't seen it anywhere on YouTube. But instead of pushing the saw, let me show you what happens when we drag the saw backwards. Good piece. That's what we're looking for. Let's do it again. Good piece. Do it again. Another good piece. Yeah, a few of those tabs are bent. All right. Next thing we're going to do is cut two pieces. Actually, we're going to cut three pieces at one time. Without turning the saw blade backwards.
All right, I just took a measurement. I need three pieces that are 10 inches and a couple pieces that are 10 and a quarter. So to show you guys, so you know I'm not bluffing, there's a saw blade. Just wait, spinning. Okay. I have not turned the blade backwards. I'm going to cut three pieces of soffit stacked on top of one another at 10 inches. I'm going to drag the saw backwards and show you my final cut. by running the saw backwards. There's the top one. There's the second one. And lastly, the third one. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something. If you're using a miter box where nothing is supporting this to keep it rigid, turn your saw blade backwards. If you're using a regular hand saw without a jig with maybe a framing square and something like that, turn your saw blade backwards. But when you're using a soffit jig and by pulling that saw in reverse, when you're catching that soffit on the downward stroke, it's pushing it into the table. And in my opinion, it's making it more rigid so you're able to get nice clean cuts. Rather, when you go to push it, you're getting the upward bite. There's nothing supporting it. And it's causing that stuff to break and chip. So if you got some value out of this video, hit subscribe, hit that like button. Appreciate y'all. Have a blessed day.